Hi, Dick Rochford aboard the M600 Piper Meridian with a G3000 cockpit. And um, we're in cruise flight, and I wanted to uh, just show you how to load the approach and, and maybe uh, set up a descent in this airplane using the VNAV. Uh, it's really pretty straightforward. Uh, we uh, have uh, decided to go to Tango 82 today, Gillespie County in Texas. And so, um, in the absence of any uh, arrival procedure that we might want or get, we can load a, a descent profile that will allow us to um, not overfly our destination. In other words, from flight level 280, we can plan a rated descent and have uh, Betty tell us when to start down. And it's pretty easy. Um, we simply select on the touchscreen display Tango 82 choose a long track waypoint and I like to use five miles before and then uh, let's consider being uh, pattern altitude which for a turboprop aircraft is 1500 feet AGL and then enter that that then populates a vertical speed required now clearly it's not time to start down yet but if we want to go down at three degree path which is the default. We want to go down at a thousand feet a minute, and that's not arbitrary. But um, there's topics of that. In, uh, that topic is covered in other videos. Uh, essentially, we have a higher VMO in the M600, but in rough air, we probably never want more than a thousand feet a minute. And so, by beginning at uh, as a default at a thousand, we're good to go. If we wanted to stick down, we could hit VNAV direct and activate it. But if not, Betty will tell us vertical track when it comes time, and it'll produce a, a VNAV here and give us a chance to call ATC and get the descent going. So having done that, uh, that's that's how that might work. Uh, we've checked the weather ahead, and again, the best way to do that is with uh, the waypoint, or one way to do that, waypoint information, weather, and let's choose METAR decoded. And here we have winds are out of the south, 17 gust and 26. Good visibility overcast at 2,000. And uh, and so we're going to want something out of that south uh, uh, pattern. So knowing that, we, uh, we want to now look at approaches. And uh, if we go uh, back uh, to the procedures for Tango 82, we'll see that um, there is an RNAV 14 LP plus V. So we can select that. We can select the initial. Uh, would always consider loading the full approach with a course reversal where it's present because it's easier to take out the hold than it is to put it in. And then from here, we simply load it. Now it's available to us and it doesn't interfere with our vertical profile vertical profile is a generic one that if we wanted to modify it and choose a vertical profile at Yuseti, we could do that. Or we could VNAV uh, the standard one uh, to Yuseti if we change our mind and want to go there. But for now, that's all we need to do. One more thing we could do is uh, go full screen here and then slew to see the parts of the chart we want, or we can range it either way. Once this is set the way you like it, and I like to slew it so that I can see the, start with the briefing strip and then the plan view, I like to see the whole thing. But then once you're finished with that, you can zoom down, see the comic strip, the vertical profile, and so on. And if you're not ready for that yet, why? Uh, you can stick with a map until you are, or you and display it as it was before. So lots of cool features on here. Very little button pushing. Once you have about 10 hours in the cockpit, uh, experimenting with it or getting some good training, I should say, and uh, and away you go. This is Dick Rochford. Fly safely.
train off. 1634, Roger.